Hey guys, I'm Ben, and I'm a junior at Woodbridge. Today, I'm going to be discussing financial aid with our college and career counselor, Mr. Muhammad. Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Mr. Muhammad, uh, college and career coordinator at Woodbridge High School. Hey, Mr. Muhammad, thank you for coming. Thank you. We know college can be very expensive. That's why we're exploring different ways that students can make college more affordable. To receive financial aid, students must first fill out the free application for federal student aid, also known as FAFSA. FAFSA is literally the most important part of the college process outside of a student actually applying for schools. It doesn't matter how rich or how poor you are, everyone has to do it. It determines what type of funds you're eligible for. It is best to fill this out as soon as possible because sometimes aid is on a first come first served basis. Those funds range from student loans to grants, scholarships, and what is called work study. Federal work studies are part-time jobs students can have to pay for their college expenses. If a student uh, works in the library or uh, the student union or, you know, it, one of the specific offices throughout the campus, basically the state or the government could say, you're eligible for $5,000 in student work study. So that means that throughout that year, whatever job you get on campus, that is the most that you can make that year. So scholarships are sums of money that are given by nonprofits, private organizations, and schools that are based on a student's academic merit, their extracurriculars, their talents, and so on. Grants, on the other hand, are sums of money given on a need-based aid. These are essentially like a gift. The most important thing about those two or you don't have to repay them. So scholarships and grants are free money. Loans are borrowed sums of money that must be repaid. Nobody wants to graduate with a ton of student loans. So I always encourage students to apply for as many scholarships and grants as possible because it is less money that you have to worry about taking out on student loans or that's less responsibility that is on your parents or guardians. If possible, it's always best to apply to colleges early so that you have a better chance of being considered for scholarships. And it's really important to note that you don't have to be a senior to apply to scholarships. It's best to start early on. Also, it's important not to overlook small scholarships as these small scholarships can start to add up. So every school does their awards differently, but that is one of the reasons why I encourage students to either go with early action or early decision. Early action just means that you're applying early and you get a decision back early. That open period is normally from, let's just say September 1st, and your application has to be submitted no later than November 1st. So if you turn it in by November 1st, you'll have a decision before the end of the year. Any school that you, you can apply to early action, you know, I would definitely advise because there's no commitment. You can get it in, get your, your feedback early, and it kind of allows you to, you know, not only get a decision, but it also allows you to choose your school and then have the rest of your senior year to kind of enjoy and, and not have that pressure. early decision is normally a binding decision. So I always only encourage students to apply early decision if you and your family have discussed a specific school and financial responsibility, things of that nature, because if you get accepted, let's just say you apply early decision for UVA and you get admitted to UVA early decision, you have to withdraw all of your other college applications and you're bound to attend UVA. So that means that you have to be prepared to pay for UVA. You know, whether they give you a full scholarship or you're left with $10,000 or whatever the case may be, 
you officially have a seat and you're now responsible for all financial obligations. You really should not be doing an early decision for more than one school. If you get admitted into both schools, now you're in a jam. I know it's easy for me to say it now, but I've been a student before, you know, so I know the importance of starting early, including, you know, resources and, and help, you know, along the way. Don't try to just do it yourself. You know, include your teachers, your counselors, your parents, guardians, whoever, you know, anybody that can be of assistance, include them early in the process. So then that way it kind of alleviates stress later on. Literally, I love what I do. And the only reason that I decided to do what I do is because someone told me I wasn't college material when I was in high school. I told them, I'm going to do your job one day. Uh, I went to Rutgers for two years for football. Then I went to West, West Virginia for two years for basketball. And so I, I know everything that comes with it, you know, the, the pressure, the responsibilities. You know, so that's why you might get an email at eight o'clock in the morning. Then you might get an email at eight o'clock at night because I'm constantly trying to find stuff for you guys. There's plenty more to come.